Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you some very simple questions. And I'm going to start with the simplest of the lot. Yeah. Hugh, what is God? <laughs> Simple question, what is God? Take about a lifetime or lifetimes to work it out. I suppose, what is God? For me, is my idea of consciousness. Uh, God is not a thing, uh, something you can necessarily see. It is within everything and outside of everything. So, I believe that God, the absolute, whatever you want to call it, the self, uh, is unchanging, is therefore pretty much everything I'm seeing has an element of God, but you couldn't call it God because everything changes. You, me, uh, where we're sitting, this river, this planet, has a life cycle, birth, death. But my feeling about God is that it exists beyond that, beyond uh, those laws of nature. It was somehow, it is somehow uh, separate to the laws of time, matter, space. And that's about as close as I've come to any realization of what God is. So you don't see God as a bearded chap up in the sky telling us to be good and if we don't, we'll go to hell and if we are, we'll come to heaven. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't see God as a bearded chap, although I, did, I used to for many years. I, I was brought up in a uh, Church of England uh, family. Went to Sunday school. My, my father's quite religious. He wasn't until he was about 26, I believe, maybe 28, and he went to a Billy Graham crusade and was converted with my mum. My mum did the usual thing, which is after about six months, started to, you know, wean off it a little bit. My father never did and is incredibly religious and goes to church every week and in fact has done almost sort of missionary work uh, after he retired as an accountant. So I was brought up with a very strict um, Protestant view of what God is and our place next to God. And that consisted of some deity, a guy with a beard, telling us what to do, marking us on our behavior and hopefully granting us uh, entrance into heaven. I think around about 14 or 15 was when I started to kind of, and I, I, by the way, I fully bought it. I would say I was a born again Christian. And, and I remember at the time, in fact, someone saying to me, you know, most of you who are here at church, by the time you're 21, 22, will fall away from this. And it's a sad fact, but very few will stay on that narrow path. And I remember thinking, there's no way I'll be one of those. There's no way. I'm not going to fall away. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be one of those. And I have. <laughs> but funnily enough, I probably feel like the path to uh, discovering um, why we're here, who we are, what it's all about, is truly a narrow path. I don't think many people follow it. Um, but around 14 or 15 was when I thought, my father's idea and this church's idea of what God is, it just doesn't make sense. How can only 5% of the world be admitted into heaven under these laws? Why, why is it that they're largely wealthy white people are the only people sort of heading there? Um, but why aren't the Buddhists change? going? Why did, why, what, what, well, that just what, that's what what started me to question. That's where the questions, uh, this just doesn't make logical sense to me. Why, uh, there's, there's too many questions unanswered, and every time you put forward, when I was 15, say, or 16, I've, every time I put forward the question, it would either come back to me as, well, the Bible says, or have faith. You just have to have faith. And so around about that age, I thought, this doesn't, it's not good enough for me. The idea of just have faith, if I have a question, I, I, I should feel sated. I, I do believe there is an element of faith to life. There's an element of God is unexplainable. It's, it is a concept that you can't put into words. I mean, it's, I think, a, a really interesting idea to make a documentary and ask people what they think what God is because I don't believe you can actually explain it. I mean, throughout the history of man, I've, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, I've read quite a bit of Joseph Campbell, and he was the one who kind of has disseminated all these myths from all these cultures from all time. 
And whilst there's similarities, they're all stories to try and explain the inexplicable because we, we want to have some grasp of who we are and where we stand, but no one can actually say it because it's beyond words. It's an experience. God is an experience. I, sorry, Matt, I feel like you want to ask me questions. And I, no, no, I'll I'm, keep I'm, going. I think you're making a lot of sense. But I meditate. I was introduced to meditation about 15 years ago, and I meditate twice a day. And if I ever feel close to knowing what God is, it's somewhere in the boundary of those, that half-hour period, twice a day when I meditate. 